Hello my friends, this is Bobby D coming to you from the Lombard Zebu Philippines. I'm having an awesome day in the Philippines today and I hope you're as well wherever you're from. Hey, today I want to talk to you about the ECC process in the Philippines. The ECC process in the Philippines. Yeah! Now, when we talk about the Philippines, you understand, this is a country that loves tourism. Tourism, yeah, they do. They love to see you come, but they hate to see you go. <laughs> so they have a law in the book that's specifically for foreign nationals and some OFWs, and as you know, OFW is Overseas Filipino Workers. It's called the ECC, Exit Clearance Certification. So what is this all about? Basically, if you have staying in the Philippines for over six months or longer, you have to get an ECC before you leave the country. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you got to get it or they won't let you get out of this country. That's it, basically. Now, what is the ECC for? Basically, the ECC is a law that protects the Philippine government for anyone or foreign nationals that come here and have derogatory uh, things on their records. So in other words, they owe money, they made a whole lot of debt, uh, they have a legal uh, problem in the court, they're in the court system with a legal suit, someone trying to sue them, they're trying to sue someone else, they had an accident and they owe a lot of money. Those things are called derogatory remarks or derogatory situations. Now, if so, if you're trying to leave the, the country, the Philippines, you need to get an ECC clear before you leave the country or you're not going to be leaving this country. Now, they recommend BI, which is the Bureau of Immigration, that you go down and get your ECC 72 hours before your flight leaves. But I recommend you want to get that at least a couple of weeks beforehand. Uh, many people have gone, I've heard many of my viewers have told me, Bobby D, Bobby D, they wouldn't let me leave, they wouldn't let me leave. That's because you didn't go down there in enough time to get your ECC and to make sure that all your obligations were taken care of. Here's a perfect example. One of my viewers, he's an American, went down, got, was, was here for like seven months, went down, got his ticket, went down to the airport, he ready to leave, and he says, sir, where's your ECC? He says, ECC, ma'am? What, what are you talking about, ma'am? I don't know what you're talking about. They say, well, sir, you need an ECC in order to get out. That's the exit clearance certification. He said, ma'am, I'm an American citizen. I have a ticket, my flight leaves in one hour, and I want out of this country. She says, sir, you're not leaving this country until you get your ECC. So, <laughs> anyway, long story short, he was not able to leave the country. He lost his uh, house because he had already given that, he was written in house, he already given that up. So, long story short, it took him almost uh, 60 days before he could actually leave. He had to pay his debt. He had to get another place to stay. It was a long, drawn out nightmare. It was a mess. Now, sometimes they call it a hot mess. <laughs> so listen to me, people. I don't want to see you be that guy, okay? I don't want to see you get all ready to hot, hot and ready to leave here and they shut you down, okay? I don't want you to be that person. So the ECC, you want to get your ECC at least two or three weeks before you leave. And that way, if you're on a derogatory, what they have a list there, it's called the derogatory list or the blacklist. Okay, it's a negative file. And you're, if your name's on that list, you're not going anywhere. They're going to keep you here. And if you have arrears as far as your tourist visas are, go are concerned, you will need to get caught up on that before you leave as well. Okay, so the whole purpose of this video is to let you know if you live in the Philippines over six months or more, you are required to have an ECC in order to leave this country. Yes. That's it for now, guys. This is Bobby D saying take care. God bless you. Peace.